Hello friends, welcome from Minneapolis St. Paul International Airport. Today we are flying the beautiful KLM 777-300 from Minneapolis to, uh, to the home base, back to Amsterdam. And it's not the ordinary everyday livery, instead we are flying the very very cool orange bright uh, livery which is this uh, yeah this B color orange uh, blue livery which I really really love um, anyway I'm a big fan of uh, special liveries but this one especially I think it looks absolutely stunning on the 777 if I'm not mistaken I believe they also have a similar livery on a uh, 737 um, but yeah of course bigger aircraft <laughs> makes a, big, a bit more of a um, appearance here so looking absolutely stunning Right, GSX is um, just loading the aircraft. We are sitting here at the international gates at Minneapolis, of course, and I've decided to take this flight uh, online on the network. So we are locked into Vetsim. Um, it's a Saturday, uh, currently nighttime in, uh, in the States, so there's no ATC here in Minneapolis, unfortunately, but I do hope that later on coming into Amsterdam we will have some ATC um, since usually Saturday evenings. Uh, that will be the time we get there. It's a pretty good time for for catching ATC in Europe. So let's see. Maybe we are lucky. Uh, looks like it's uh, yeah middle of the night here in Minneapolis. So uh, no, not a lot of traffic around. Um, but yeah. Anyway, we should be in for a nice departure. It's a surprisingly short flight. Uh, flight time only seven hours and five minutes or so. Uh, so it's not a very long flight. Um, Let's see, maybe we are even lucky and catch some ATC over the Atlantic, that would also be very cool. Right, and with that said, or maybe last thing to add is, um, yeah, it's of course an evening departure here in Minneapolis, now local time is, I think it's like 10 p.m. And then we get to Amsterdam somewhere around midday, so we have a daytime landing into Amsterdam later on. Right, now I think we have cleared all the important stuff, um, let's get to it. So here we are in the flight deck. I have uh, done the dealing. So that's all set up. Uh, first item of order is now to align the adhers, and uh, then we should be good. We have the logo light on. I think the seat belts can come on as well. Although to be honest, I still have to need still need to do the loading. So let's see fuel. Um, now I need my sim brief flight plan optimum uh, um, sorry not optimum uh, alternate is Brussels Airport which is just half an hour away so we don't need a lot of fuel for the alternate so we have a block fuel of 61.7 61733 to be accurate and I expect this to be less than 50% yeah just 42% of fuel load uh, on a transatlantic flight um, always always amazes me and payload, um, we have a bit of payload in here. We have a zero fuel weight of 216.9. So even here there's a bit room, but we are, after all, carrying 373 passengers and a total of 19.8 tons of cargo. Uh, so that's quite a bit of uh, payload in my opinion. Right, so that's done. And then let's move on to the FMC. Position. We can take the GPS position and that should be quick alignment. There it is already. Easy. Root. Um, yeah, KLM 656. Request. It's stored in the folder so we can just request it. This goes over to progress. And uh, I think we should be fairly quick from now since GSX is almost done. Uh, just need to do all the initialization and then we are pretty much good to go. Um, okay, root, uplink, load. Uh, I think it takes some time, or did something go wrong? No, there it is, perfect. Five pages. Right, activate. Um, flight number KLM656. Runway. I do expect runway one to right. Uh, let's see departure. One to right, and then we are flying the Wilton Wilston Seven departure with a transition at. No, I don't think it's uh, this waypoint. 
Green Bay. I'm unsure. Let me double check. Yeah, no, we don't have the Green Bay uh, transition, so execute. Um, let's look at the chart. Uh, it's a typical uh, United States departure route. Would be more fun with ATC, but we don't have it. So one to right is uh, this one down here. And here it is, DME-equipped aircraft, which we certainly have. Um, you get a heading assigned between 060 and 100. Um, since we do need to fly slightly north towards Wilston, let's... Um, I think we can think of a random number between that. So let's go heading 080. I think that's a, that's a good heading for the start. Um, and then we have to cross the 7 mile MSP, which is the Minneapolis uh, VOR, at 3500 or above. So, um, what we want to do... Uh, MSP is tuned, and now I like to set up a range ring for that. At 7. Right, so we want to be 3500 or above for that top altitude for the climb, uh, 7000 for jets. So that goes in here, like that. Right, and then um, arrival we can do later on. What else? We need the, no, the init first. So let's see if this is aligned with um, Simbrief. Reserves, Simbrief is giving us 6.6. .6. Then we have the cost index of 100. I googled that for KLM. Apparently that's the cost index they use. RVSM, it's okay for these step climbs. We can actually go ahead and enter these step climbs uh, manually as well. And uh, so that's that, then get the wind data. Let's see, now it's 4.8, this should come up quite a bit, 12.1. Looks like a nice bit of tailwind, in the meantime let's close all the doors so we don't get these annoying beeping sounds. And then VNAV 18,000 of course in the US, we have the takeoff. And for that we can run some calculations in the meantime, since we will be fast from now on. Let's fire up the APU, or emergency lights, and APU. Yeah, arm the doors, it's also a good idea. Right, performance. Or maybe we should, at the, we should look at the uh, weather as well, of course. But it should be fairly nice weather here in uh, Minneapolis. So we have winds 150 at 9, outside temperature minus 10, holy cow, <laughs> that's freezing out there. Uh, 3015, take off, optimum aircon, PEX auto, engine wing anti ice auto. Let's see, other than that, it's, it's okay, 8 uh, miles of visibility, overcast 600, oh, low-hanging clouds, okay. Yeah, so we will definitely enter icing conditions just after departure. Okay, let's see, that's a flap 5. Oh, I haven't checked um, what flap settings KLM usually use, but let's go with this one. Uh, should be fine, so that's a uh, select temperature of 51. Take off. The wind was 150 at 9. Uh, 8 knots of headwind. Acceleration and thrust reduction 1500, that's okay. And then reference outside temperature is negative 10. Right, so flaps 5. Uh, set of gravity 30, and then that's 160, 69, 74. 160, 69, 74, and then this will go in here. 
like that. Flight directors, LNAV, VNAV. Nice. That's good. I wonder if um, in reality at minus 10 and very low hanging um, clouds, bit of moisture in the air, um, if they would even do in uh, de-icing before um, departure. But I will not do it today. It's not very well done in, in GSX in my opinion, so we can uh, spare the effort. Okay, what else do we need to set up? I think... Um, Okay, APU, let's uh, switch over to APU power. Passenger signs are on. And then we can run some checklists. So testing the oxygen, let's test it. Flight instrument 013, 013, 3017, 3017 and 3017. That needs to be reset. Parking brake is on. And that's the pre-flight checklist completed. Okay, now looking from the outside, we need to make sure that the jetways are undocked. And then we can go to ground connections, remove everything. And then we should be clear. Yes, GSX is coming in to take the air conditioning unit as well. Okay, TA. 1000. And I'm checking again for ATC, but there's nothing online. Cool. So, we can set up for the departure. Um, hydraulics. So service interphone, whatever that's uh, good for. Uh, the right demand pump waiting for the light to extinguish and then the center el electrics and all the others I hope that's the right flow we have the fuel pumps uh, center fuel probably not, or a little bit 3.4 tons that's going to be burnt uh, first of course and with the beacons coming on and packs left and right coming on as well right so before start checklist flight tech door closed and locked um, MCP is set V2 174 heading of 080 altitude 7000 takeoff speeds 160 69 74 CD preflight is completed um, trim should be centered that looks good and taxi and takeoff briefing Com completed before start checklist is completed now we can ask for uh, pushback no de-icing yeah so we already have a few low center um, announcement on here but uh, still I want to have the fuel pumps on this fuel uh, should be burnt uh, first Okay, so off we go. Commencing push. Starting the block time. So I hope this time the uh, pushback is going according to plan. Lately I've been a little bit unlucky with my pushbacks. And let's see if we can pull up this airport map. Cool. So we get a pushback with a tail to the right, and then we will try to capture Alpha, and then Alpha is just parallel to the runway all the way to the end and uh, yeah then we need to cross the runway in, uh, during the taxi that's important to to notice right so let's fire up these huge engines starting number two I'm always unsure I think the GEs we can technically even fire up both at the same time um, but I'm never quite sure if that's if that's correct.
Okay, that's the starter counter for engine number one. Uh, sorry, number two, of course, and now starting number one. In the meantime, I believe we need to set up some uh, floodlights. I don't know why, but today the cockpit appears to be super dark. was a uh, NVIDIA driver update. I hope that did not mess with the cockpit lighting once more. Okay, maybe a bit more clear shield. Oh, I forgot the fuel. Oh, wow. <laughs> Didn't even notice. Minneapolis traffic delta 1484, 5 mile final 12 right. Minneapolis traffic. Oh, cool. There's a delta coming into land. Both right, awesome. Okay, start a cutout. Tow truck disconnect. Bypass pin removed. Very good stuff. So I think technically we should wait to shut down the APU for three minutes, but uh, I never really pay attention to set to that. So APU is. Coming off. Engine wing anti ISIS on auto. We have the trim coming to 4.75, or let's do the flips first. Flip 5, RTO. Where's my flight controls? Trim 4.75. Shoot, where's my... Oh, there it is. Oh, that's weird. I can trim down, but I can't trim up. What's happening here? Okay, now I got it. For some reason, it was stuck. I just had it to move the yoke, and then it worked. And now the traffic just cleared behind us. Cool. Um, okay, that's, 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 that's all set. Um, taxi check. List, anti ice on auto recall is checked. Flag controls are not checked. Uh, wait, now I've skipped that due to the trim issue. Full left, full right, full up, full down, rather full right, and full left. Now it's checked. Crown group is clear. And before takeoff checklist flaps are set five, it's completed as well. Nice. Where is the Delta taxiing? Let's see if he takes a left hand swing. I think we should be good to go. Minneapolis traffic, KLM six five six heavy taxiing to holding point one to left by Alpha, Minneapolis traffic. Right. Let's get going. Turn off the taxi lights. That's a lot of power. And dome lights I wanted to kill. Yeah, that's super dark. I don't remember the triple seven cockpit to be uh, that dark and why are the lights red? Holy cow. Hmm, I don't know, maybe that's some uh, KLM custom setup to have red cockpit lighting. But it looks weird. 
does not lo look like the uh, last times I had a KLM in the simulator. Yeah, uh, sorry, a uh, triple seven. Okay, that's a very easy taxi today, so we are already coming up to runway um, 4. Let's see, traffic should be nothing, so let's put on these tropes and we can cross. Also, we can go T A R A, and what else do we want? Weather. I assume for the departure, and here it is terrain. But I think terrain over here at Minneapolis is not very exciting. Okay, strokes off. Okay, that's it already for the taxi, very short taxi today. So uh, let's assume we are cleared for takeoff. So the wing lights as well, and we are bright as a Christmas tree. And before takeoff checklist is completed, we have done all the flows. Um, initial heading 80 is set. One thing I did forget is to put in the step clamps for the routes, but that's also something I can do after departure. Uh, so let's take this beautiful bird to Amsterdam. Minneapolis traffic, KLM 656 Heavy is departing runway 1 to right, departure towards the east. Minneapolis traffic. Alright! That should be fun! We have two very nice sceneries for today. Here the flight beam in Minneapolis scenery, that's a pretty nice one. And then of course the flight tamper in Amsterdam. Also one of the best ones out there, so... Cool aircraft, cool airports. Very nice setup today. Okay, let's do it then. Let's rock and roll. Hours coming up. And take off. That's a nice acceleration. 80 knots. This aircraft is so incredibly powerful. Checked. Rotate. And we airborne. Pulling a bit more. Positive rate. Gears coming up. Oh, that was a nice one. That's so cool. Wow, look at this effect. Holy cow. P3D is quite good sometimes. Okay, heading select, heading 8-0. Speeding up, that's climb power. Flips 1, speed check, flips 1. Turn, but the flight director was kind of laggy there. 
Um, flaps up, speed check, flaps up. Autopilot. Taxi and turn off lights. Speed to five zero. Um, so we're above the constraint, seven mile range and com coming up we have four thousand. And then we can go direct the first waypoint. Or actually direct Wilston most likely. Yeah, that's uh Twit Wilston. Yeah, let's go direct Wilston, should be fine. Like that, enough. And then we can keep climbing three three zero. Let's set. After takeoff checklist, all green after takeoff checklist is completed. Nice, let's have a look outside. Oh, that's a really, really cool nighttime departure. See how the uh, street lights reflect from the aircraft. Awesome stuff. Really, really cool. Right, so that's that for the departure, guys. A few low center. Let's see if it's already used up. Not quite. Not quite, so we'll leave the pumps on for a few more minutes. Okay, so we are heading towards Amsterdam. Thanks for joining me on the departure, and I will you back for a hopefully nice uh, landing. Enjoy! Welcome back everyone, we are about to pass flight level 140, we are on our descent towards Amsterdam and um, yeah I think it would be a fun approach today but uh, let's talk about the cruise quickly. So um, yeah during the sunrise uh, I briefly switched uh, enhanced atmospherics off, I just uh, feel like the sky colors uh, without it are just so much better with the setup I'm running. Uh, so I briefly switched. Um, to non-enhanced atmospherics but now I'm back on enhanced atmospherics because the uh, cockpit looks better of course with it being switched on uh, so yeah it's a, it's a bit of a back and forth here in P3D from time to time um, I hope the lighting system is something they fix in the next big update for P3D but let's see what's about to come um, other than that yeah it's been a, a short flight with the 652 uh, we have been hitting ground speeds of 600 knots uh, during the cruise uh, lots of tailwind basically throughout all the crews. Uh, that was kind of cool. 
Um, so it was a quick flight. Now we are heading into Amsterdam. Unfortunately, no ATC online at the moment. Um, there has been ATC online over the Atlantic. However, I didn't capture it because I locked off the network uh, during cruise for some time because I went off and, and did some other stuff. And when I came back on, um, also our call sign was taken, <laughs> which is uh, fair enough, of course. Uh, so now we are actually KLM656 Bravo, just in case you're wondering later on uh, when I um, speak on the frequency. Right, and now, yeah, weather at uh, Amsterdam is a bit mixed. Uh, not the very best weather. Let's have a look. So, winds 20 knots from 230. That's a bit of a breeze. Uh, variable winds. 5 kilometers visibility, light drizzle rain, few clouds, 400 broken, 600 broken, 1111 degrees, very low altimeters, 993. Um, yeah, so uh, wet, wet winter day in Amsterdam. Now we're passing 10,000 landing lights on. And uh, yeah, initially I was planning to land runway 18 right. That's uh, usually the most common runway in, in Amsterdam. But then I looked at flight radar. Turns out active runway is actually 27, which is kind of cool because I've never landed runway 27 into um, Amsterdam. Also, it makes our taxi very short. So that's 18 right, very far out. It's the one where we have this huge taxi afterwards. And now we are just coming in. 27 and uh, our terminal is just here so it's going to be very short taxi saving us a lot of time on the ground and that should be fun we're flying the Lamso rifle from Lamso um, next Zugol we have some constraints max 250 um, between flight level 100 and 70 uh, we are pretty much at Zugol we are a bit fast but below profile, aircraft is slowing down now, so it's looking okay. And then all the arrivals in Amsterdam, I'm sure you guys know, lead over the Skippo VOR. So Skippo, then outbound to Alpha Mike 260, 261 right hand turn, and ultimately on the final approach course. Um, so from Titvo, we have um, 9.4 miles left on the ILS. And that's good to keep in mind. And I think Sugal, we don't necessarily need to overfly the airport. I think we can go direct Alpha Mic 260 basically now. I think uh, I'm quite sure that's what they would do in reality. Uh, usually flying into Amsterdam with ATC uh, just has a lot of vectoring, which is very cool. Um, but when ATC is not online, then it's um, of course kind of difficult to. Uh, replicated in a proper way. Yeah, I've done la landing calculations as well. Um, auto break 2 will easily do. We are yeah, fairly light now at this point. Final approach speed 142. Actually, we will add 10 knots uh, due to 20 knots of wind. We will have an approach speed of 152. And that's good to keep in mind. Not sure if the calculation is still here. Yeah, it's, it's still here. So auto brake 2, flap 30, uh, 10 knots on top, uh, 152, landing distance required 6,700, and that's with good uh, good braking condition, out of a total 11,000, so that's uh, easy. That should do right, and um, yeah, eventually down on the ground we won't have a lot of time to look around, so we will vacate most likely November 3, November 4 and then there are taxi routings on here so November 3 um, we will do what I believe is Alpha 14 and into Fox 6 or Fox 4 whatever is free something like this coming November 4 uh, we will taxi Alpha 18 Alpha and then in this roundabout on the outer on Alpha 14 into the stand it's just a rough idea of what will happen on the ground. Okay, the next altitude uh, is actually 2000 at Titvo, so we can uh, set this in the MCP. Now we are holding at this altitude for a bit, which makes sense. Since we had the altitude constraint before. But yeah, that's all looking good. Um, 
I did watch a YouTube video KLM triple seven landing, and seems like uh, SOPs for KLM are auto thrust uh, on for the landing. So that's what we will do today. Makes things a bit easier for us, which is kind of cool. Just one thing I want to double check on the legs page. So that's Tito Alpha Max 639 at 2000 is hard dialed. Okay, that's good. Sometimes it's above, um, but then I like to hard dial it to 2000. Okay, now we continue down. We don't see any traffic on the radar. Let's see, we have. Ryanair Summites in front of us coming in to land as it looks like on Volanta. But that should not be an issue. Yeah, and then I just really hope our performance is good down on the ground. With heavy weather at Amsterdam, always a hard time for for my computer to, to do that. And previously we have had some sim crashes as well flying into Amsterdam. I really hope that's not happening today. It would be super frustrating. Uh, but I guess we would just hope for the best. Yeah, unfortunately nothing to see at all down the uh, right hand side. We're just uh, passing the airport quite close. Uh, would be nice for you if there would not be a thick cloud cover but that's what it is and uh, now I guess we can also start to look for a way to slow down a bit um, T220 buff uh, before that it's uh, 240 let's actually change that a bit. Oh, no. I can't do speed without altitude in the 777, can I, right? Okay. Okay, then let's go uh, manage speed uh, to 30 and then add some track. Oh, it takes a while to operate. Oh, aircraft, you're turning very early, my friend. Interesting. Uh, that's not happening too often in a PMDG. Okay, flaps once. We checked flaps one. Getting a few leg spikes already, that's not too good. Skip all traffic, KLM 656 Bravo Heavy is turning final, uh, ILS runway 27, skip all traffic. Uh, flips 5, speed check, flips 5. Ten miles to go. There's traffic in front, so I want to slow down a bit, but uh, it should work out. Let's um, approach mode. Localizer captured. Go around altitude is. Ah, that is uh, three thousand. Flaps 10, uh, 15, sorry, in the 777. Glide slope captured, go around, go around out to set 3000.
gear down. Yeah, let's uh, do an early landing config. I want to give the traffic ahead some, some time to vacate. Yeah, there we can see it. Okay, and then 152 eventually. Oops, 20. Flaps 25, flaps 30. Okay, this goes to armed. Let's do the lights now. Turn off and taxi lights. Landing checklist. Oh, that's approach checklist. Altimeters are set, yes. Landing checklist is completed. Yeah, he's pretty much five, six miles ahead of us. Uh, should work out. Right, that should be cool. <laughs> Not the best weather out there. Let's see. Let's see. Look at this wind. Still 35 knots of wind at an altitude 1600. It's pretty crazy. I should have practiced, uh, practiced some crosswind landings before doing that. <laughs> Yeah, now the computer cannot keep up to the 30 FPS, which is really annoying. Let's see. Air speeds. Don't do too much aircraft. Okay, working out. Yeah, it would be cool if we get uh, something like runway vacated, but I think it is... Skipple traffic KLM 656 Bravo Heavy is on a 3 mile final ILS runway 27 Skipple traffic. Okay, can we get a visual please? Yes, there's the runway, there's the traffic. Looks okay. I would switch the uh, weather radar off. Uh, it might save us one or two FPS. Okay, manual flight. Auto throttle is staying on as we have discussed. Oh, let's see how this works out. To reds, to whites, looking K. Twenty knots of wind. Approaching minimums. Yeah, it's not a strong crosswind, uh, luckily. So that's okay. Minimums. It's a bit of wind coming in. Oh, holy, okay. One hundred. A little bit high. Fifty. 30, 20, 10. Come on, give me the touchdown. Reverse. Reverse green, D cell. Breaking idle forward. Okay, <laughs> was okay. Not the not the easiest landing, I have to say, but um, it was okay. Didn't see the touchdown rate, but I was more focused on keeping it on the center line and uh, and decrabbing and that kind of stuff. But okay, here we are on November four. Which is this one, okay. Let's 
Rescue Paul. Traffic KLM 656 Bravo, uh, runway vacated. Right. Um, APU. Landing lights. Strobes. All the other stuff is staying on. Flaps. Flight time 7 hours and 9 minutes, pretty close to what we have uh, calculated. Okay, and now let's get GSX stand Foxtrot 6. And I'm of course wait, Alpha seventeen, are we correct? Alpha sixteen. Oh, that's one uh, terminal too early. We have to go to the next one. Almost got that wrong. Yeah, I will actually turn right to Alpha 60. Oh, wait, there's a max. Oh, 65 meters. <laughs> uh, I have no idea how much we have. But I guess when there's no traffic here, um, we should be fine to take this turn, and 65 meters should be fine given that uh, these aircrafts uh, typically park here at these stands. Would be surprised if that's uh, not enough room for us. Okay, lights coming off. Right, and then it's just the final turn into the stand. It's here Lufthansa A321, I think. Always underestimate the length of this aircraft. I should have gone a bit further before swinging around. No idea if I'm on the center line or oh, apparently not. Okay. That's what the system is for. And there we are. Parking brake parking brake. APU is running. Killing engines. Two and one. So there we are, block time seven twenty-five. Then let's have the fuel pumps. We have the hydraulics, beacons, seat belts, and window heats. Right, that should be a checklist then. Pa uh, shutdown checklist is completed. We will get all the ground connections, ground power as well, and then ask for deboarding. The boarding requested. Two jetways. Awesome. So, turns out my That's parking was uh, pretty awesome even. Ah, went like uh, half a meter too too far. But other than that, yeah, I'm happy with that one. Nice, 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 nice. So here we are at uh, Amsterdam, everyone. Welcome to Schiphol International Airport. Ah, one thing I'm remembering is to put the external power on. Oh, there we are. 
Yeah, and then we can even shut down the APU, right? Cool, yeah, so here we are. Welcome to Amsterdam, everyone. Um, I think that was a cool trip. That was fun. Um, everything working out nicely on this flight. Landing rate was 191. Yeah, I'm happy with this one. It was a difficult landing condition, so that's all right. And... Um, yeah, as expected, this uh, this livery on the triple seven is really really nice. Uh, the aircraft itself, of course, as well. I've said it before, but I'm gonna say it again. I think it's, this is at the moment the best uh, long haul aircraft we have for any simulator. So uh, that's pretty much as good as it gets, I would say. All right, guys, thank you so much for tuning in on this triple seven long haul flight with KLM, and. Um, I hope you like it. If you do, please leave a like and subscribe. I would really appreciate that. And other than that, I shall see you on the next live stream or video, whatever comes up next. And uh, yeah, see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.